Now the feast of the unleavened bread drew near, which is called the Passover. And when the hour came, he reclined at table, and he took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise the cup, after they had eaten, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. And he came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. And when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation. While he was still speaking, there came a crowd, and the man called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He drew near to Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, would you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? Then they seized him and led him away, bringing him into the high priest's house. When the day came, the assembly of the elders of the people gathered together. So they all said, Are you the Son of God then? And he said to them, You say that I am. Then they said, What further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own lips. Then the whole company of them arose and brought him before Pilate. Pilate then called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people and said to them, you brought me this man as one who was misleading the people, and after examining him before you, behold, I did not find this man guilty of any of your charges against him. But they all cried out together, Away with this man! Crucify him! Crucify him! Only to say, 